Windows sus Windows sus system Windows subsystem for Linux It allows you to run a Linux environment inside of Windows without a virtual machine or dual booting It works by running a separate kernel on top of the Windows kernel that will translate Linux calls into system calls for Windows. But it allows you to install different distributions such as Ubuntu or Kali Linux, and it lets you run seamlessly on top of Windows. WSL requires fewer resources such as CPU memory and storage than a full separate virtual machine. Let's check it out. It is super easy to install. Just go into the PowerShell, and then type in WSL space dash dash install. By default it installs Ubuntu but you can choose between different distros and you can have multiple installed at once. To list all of the available distributions again just go into the PowerShell and type in WSL space dash dash list space dash dash online. This will show you all the different distributions that you can install. When you know which Linux distribution you want to install type in the WSL space dash dash install space dash D space distribution name. Let's go ahead and try it with Debian. And as soon as you type that in, it starts downloading and installing Debian. Then it's going to ask you for your username, put in a password. And now here you can see that I am in the Linux shell of Debian. Debian uses Aptitude as their package manager. So since we have Debian installed on here, we can install any supported software from Debian using apt-git. You'll probably want to update the package manager first. You'll have to do this under sudo as well. Super user privileges. And here it's updating the package lists. So all of the Linux commands that were built into Debian you can run inside of the shell. Um, for example, the slash bin folder. So these are all Linux commands. Uh, chroot, ls, sudo, dd. So Python is not installed, so let's go ahead and try installing Python. sudo apt-git install python3. And here you go, it is starting to install Python. Python 3. Inside of Windows Subsystem for Linux. I decided I would try to install Chromium to test the GUI applications to see if it is properly doing graphics as well. And this is almost like Wine, where you can run you know, Windows GUI applications inside of Linux. But it actually supports um, GPU accelerations for like AI models and stuff like that. Uh, so it's good that you can work with uh, with C CUDA inside of it. When you have Linux subsystem for Windows installed, you will have a Linux section here in your file manager. When you drop it down, you'll see directories for the two I have installed, Debian and Ubuntu. Um, and you can see whenever you click on one of these folders that you can actually get into the Linux file system that it is emulating. Uh, if I wanted to go to my user folder, it would be slash home slash Michael. And you can open up these shells whenever you want. You can just type in the distribution that you installed, such as Ubuntu or Debian. And you can see it pulls up the terminal. There's a lot more that you can do with it, but hopefully this gives you a better understanding of the Windows subsystem for Linux. I'm going to post a video later on how you can use the Windows subsystem for Linux to mount ext4 file system disk drives or just partitions on your drive uh, since the, usually you can't read it without a Linux file system reader, but the problem with those is that you cannot write to it. You can save from it, but you can't write to it. Doing it this way, you can just mount it into the Windows subsystem. So stay tuned and I'll show a video about that. In the meantime, get out of my house.